beautiful young girl. Well, another news tonight, the Howard Wood Dakota relays are off and running in Sioux Falls with some changes because of COVID-19. After being canceled last year by the pandemic, this weekend's event is limited to high school athletes only. No college student athletes are competing this time around. But as per Catalan's Perry Groton reports, organizers have waived an earlier limit on attendance. So everyone who wants to see the events at Howard Wood Field can now sit in the stands. High school athletes are hitting full stride at the Howard Wood Dakota Relays after being sidetracked by the pandemic a year ago. It's wonderful. We really missed it last year and um, we're just really glad that they're allowing the kids to do their thing because they don't get this time back. Sue and Clay Stewart came all the way from Custer to watch their daughter compete in the middle distance events. I never thought I would uh, miss sitting on a cold bleacher and watching a track meet, but I, I definitely did miss that last year and a lot of people did, a lot of parents did. More parents and fans will be able to watch the track and field events because there's no limit to attendance. And I think that was the big key. It was outdoor sports. I think with some of the uh, advances in you know the COVID protocol, um, they said, hey, let's let's treat let the people make their decisions to spread out and let's not limit it at this time. Fewer athletes competing here at Howard Wood Field makes it more manageable to protect everyone from COVID-19. There won't just be as many uh, of the athletes here. So yes, that will be safer for them and for everyone. Safety at the Howard Wood Dakota Relays combines social distancing with distance running. In Sioux Falls, Perry Groton, Kelloland News. Masks are encouraged for the people attending the meet. The evening session is just getting underway. Tomorrow's events begin at 9 a.m. You can check out the full schedule of events by going to the Howard Wood Dakota Relays website. We have a link with this story at Kelloland.com.